Welcome guys, so uh, this will be my 11th Brothers War Quick Draft. Let's get, get it started. This will be the penultimate one. I'll do one more tomorrow, I think. Uh, I am just rare drafting, of course, so I'm grabbing this brushland. Not even going to think about it. I'm going to grab this stone brain. Not even going to think about it. Right, I don't think either of these cards are going <laughs> to... Stone Britain is completely unplayable. Get rid of that. Uh, right, what's the best card in this pack? Uh, well, Excavation Explosion jumps out at me. Three damage and a Power Stone token. I do like that card. We have Mass Reduction. Yeah. Heavyweight Demolisher demolished me yesterday. I forgot about unearth uh, and I, ki I killed it and, I, and, I, and then it just unearthed and I didn't leave two blockers back so I died. It's a bit pretty tragic. <laughs> uh, is it a good card though? Hmm. It's very expensive, it costs seven. So you need, you need a serious ramp deck to play that. So, and then you've got the the ten ten rust goliath here. Got evolving wilds. You might pick that f sort of early to s to keep your options open. You can use this in any deck really. Uh, I think excavation explosion is the best card here. I will take that. Right, forging it. The anchor. I did have a couple of these yesterday in my blue green deck, my blue green ramp deck. I, I, I mean, I only played one of them actually. I never actually saw it. So, uh, but I did think hard about whether it would be good or not. It is sorcery speed. Um, but you can, yeah, you reveal any number of artifact cards from the top five and put them into your hand. If you're really lucky, you could draw five off this. Uh, we have Ivory Tower. I have tried this before, and it was a complete dead loss. I think good if you get it in your opening hand. Probably, probably bad otherwise. Um, I always drew it when I was on about three or four cards, and I never. Uh, I I actually had it in play about three or four times. Never never gained a single life point from it. I suppose you need pretty serious card draw for this to work. Oh, Levitating Statue. Now, now we're talking. Yes, this is a good card. Uh, if you have a lot of spells in your deck. We've got off to a good start with a, with a good spell here. Maybe maybe uh, that could be a thing. Slagstone Refinery. Uh, interesting trigger that you get. Very, very ambitious card. would be impressed to see someone actually pull this off and get it to work. Curate. Play Revenant. Ah, now down here we have a Goblin Blast Runner. I think these could be pretty powerful. If you can get them early get, and make a sacrifice deck. So yeah, black red sacrifice deck. That could be very good. Um Levis taking statue does seem good as well. Uh, yeah, I think I my my only trophy deck this week was with Lev uh, it was a blue white control deck with levitating statue. So let's give that another shot. Uh, there's a scrap work rager here. This is a good card draw guy, isn't it? But no, let's, I think I'm more interested in the statue. Let's go for that. Okay. We have a defense grid. Someone actually played this against me yesterday. Um, I don't... Th I, I, I um, don't think it's a good idea to play this. Uh, I decided I'm not going to worry about, you know, these um, retro artifacts. So it says it's a rare, but 
I'm only I think I'm only interested in standard really. I don't think I'm going to draft this. Now here we have Hero of the Dunes. Get artifact or creature back with Mana Valley three from graveyard to the battlefield, and see your smaller creatures get plus one power. I mean that seems pretty darn good. Warlords Elite. I have I played a Boros deck with. I had three Warlords Elite. That was pretty good. But it, remember, it is uh, you're tapping. It's you pay three mana and then you tap two other things, lands or creatures. There is another Goblin Blast Runner. This guy has Death Touch. I'm a fan of Death Touch. This has Death Touch as well. So far, we just do not have a deck, really. Uh, I like. I don't think I've played. So one thing. Uh, I have not played Orzov in this environment, and this is the maybe the best Orzov uncommon. Uh, let's let's give it a shot. We're, you know, it's, we've got three different colors, we, we can, but we can we can uh, cope. We could splash white and have a a black red deck, I think. Spot a Thopter, Gixian Skull Flare. Right. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how good this card is, and I sort of tend to avoid it. I think it's difficult to meet the condition, usually. Gix's Caress, I am a fan of. I do like my Power Stones. Power Stone Fracture. I think you can get away with one of these in your deck. And they tend to go late. I think I like Gix's Caress the most here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab Gix's Caress. Tell you what, I, I had fun with Hulking Metamorph yesterday. I managed to get a couple of these, and I, in the last game, I managed to copy Portal to Phyrexia, which was pretty nice. Uh, so this this is maybe the card I like the most here. You could copy a levitating statue. Which seems pretty good. Yeah, I like Hulking Metamorph. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that. And we're gonna we're gonna figure out what we're playing by the end of this pack. Cause I'm not sure yet. Cause uh we have a goblin blast runner that came back around. Uh, sibling Rivalry, if we want to do the Black Red Sacrifice deck. Let's take a Blast Runner. Sardian Cliff Stomper, if we want to just go Mono Red or something. Yeah, I think take the uh, Forge Chanter here. Hello. There's a black red card, Junkyard Genius, and another Hero of the Dunes as well. And another Levitating Statue. This is a pretty good selection of cards this late, a pick 10.
I think I, I like Junkyard Genius. I think we're probably going away from the levitating statue deck at this point. Ah, heavyweight demolisher is back. Okay. Yes, I think I will take that. Wow, the Goblin Blast Runner went all the way around. Yeah, let's take up a second one of those. And a, or a th and a third one. Wow. <laughs> the bots do not like that card. Let's sideboard that guy. And forging the anchor, okay. And we have a choice. There is Sword of the Meek. Yeah, this, so whenever you put, make a 1-1, one, one, this comes back from the graveyard, which is all very well. I'm going to go ahead and take my complete my set of Thran Spiders. And, ooh, that's my first hostile negotiations. This, this, this is a, the complicated one, isn't it? Exile the top three cards to your library. And then exile the top three. Look at the cards in each pile. Then turn a pile of your choice face up. Opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand. And, you, uh, and the other into your graveyard. Because it goes into the graveyard. You lose three life. So this is... Well, it is, it's instant speed, draw three for four, lose three life. Um, with, you know, a few extra steps. Anyway, we are we are drafting that because it's a rare. Okay. There's no rare here. I'm just... There's a fourth Goblin Blast Runner. Wow. Okay. Now let's, let's do a little bit of trimming here. So I don't think the brushland's going to help. And the metamorph's not going to help. And I think uh, Levitating Statue is probably getting dropped. We can play the rest of these. But we do need some... Let's see, how many Sacrifice Outlets have we got? I think it's just Junkyard Genius at the moment. Right, so kill zone acrobat. That is a sacrifice outlet. Do we just go for a fourth goblin blast runner? It's quite ridiculous. Yeah, I think I've, I like ridiculous. Okay. So emergency world's quite good, but I think uh we can't really see past overwhelming remorse here. Strong ball is very good in this deck as well. Quite good. And removal card. But there's another decent two drop, Dwarven Forge Chanter. Whirling Strike. I think I'd rather have the two drop. I think creatures are a bit more aggressive than hand removal. Another Junkyard Genius, okay. 2 1 Flyer. Or Sibling Rivalry. Hmm. Now sacrifice effect. Potentially, we're getting sacrifice effects. I think, I think we really want to go steal and sack. I think I. But do I take that over a junkyard genius? No, I think we take the second junkyard genius. We just we'll hope we pick up another sibling rivalry somewhere. Fifth blast runner is that. Is that a bit over the top? Uh, let's really, really focus on these sacrifice effects if we can find them. Uh, 
this figure. Hopefully we'll find a few more in the the third pack. This figure is a good card, let's get that. Gruesome realization. Kicks an infiltrator is a sacrifice payoff. It's like another goblin blast runner. Um yeah, okay. Jurass. Hmm, Jurass, you say. Not Jurass, corrupt. Well, we're going to have a decent number of swamps in the deck. Maybe that's good. The other thing is... Goblin Firebomb says sacrifice on it. Probably playing red, though. I'm just thinking um, with the Corrupt. Got five Goblin Blast Runners. <laughs> um, maybe the Goblin Firebomb's actually better than Corrupt here. Mishra's Domination, Mishra's Onslaught. Uh, maybe it's Mishra's Onslaught. Right, there we go. Strong ball. An actual a pretty decent well, he sacrifices artifacts. But I could do in a pinch. Right. Dreams of steel and oil. Or the whirling strike. I'm I was impressed with whirling strike uh, the other day. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a whirling strike. We've got some uh Prowess guys as well to go with that. Another goblin firebomb. Hmm. And that's the end of pack two. Okay, we are taking the Kyla's command. Oh, painful quandary. Is that number four? Yeah. I don't think it's a very good card, but I'm going to. I'm going to grab it anyway. Now, Horn Stormseeker Storm says sacrifice on it. Uh, Do we take the Stormseeker or another Strong Ball? We're actually short on two drops. We like Ramp. Uh, emergency World is good as well. But yeah, I think I like the yeah Stone Seeker. In fact, it's what it's called. Ooh, Skyfisher Spider. <laughs> can we can we splash green for Skyfisher Spider? That would be amazing. Uh, or we just get a decent two drop, or we get a disfigure. Because we could drop here of the Dunes. Go for the green splash instead, because that that's sacrifice and that goes better with the deck. Yeah, I like I like the sound of that. Poor old hero of the dunes gets bumped. I think we're probably not playing painful quandary really. But we'll think about that. It's a disfigure, that's pretty good. Whirling strike. Pick a disfigure. Mishra's onslaught. Might be good here. Yeah. Oh, late Takasia. We do have four copies of Takasia. Uh, what? <laughs> the Skyfisher Spider. I guess we take that then. Okay, just just throw Skyfisher Spiders at me. I'm not complaining. Maybe we'll get five like the uh, Goblin Blast Runners. Right. 
Dwarven Forge Chanter, a solid choice down there. Yeah, I could use another two drop, I think. Hmm, Arbalest Engineers, you're sp we're splashing green, you say. How are we going to splash green? Is another good question. Is it going to be seven, seven, and three? I would like some mana fixing somewhere. It's not exactly mana fixing. Okay. Uh. Honestly, don't think we can play our blessed engineers, but. They're yeah, very, very tempting. Maybe Bitter Reunion is better. Discard, draw two. Maybe draw into my um, my stuff. That can also be sacrificed to trigger my uh, Blast Runners. Yeah, maybe Bitter Reunion is the, the right choice here. Okay, yeah, another Sacrifice Outlet. Another Forged Chanter, I think. Whirling Strike. Gnawing Vermin, okay. Hmm. Arms Race, okay. Right, 52 cards, we've got to make 12 cuts, so let's let's cut anything I'm not 100% on. I'll drop, I'll drop the vermin. Right, let's just cut down to two blast runners, right, right away. I feel like we'll need a bit of reunion. Uh, I'll just cut my combat tricks, I'll cut the statue, maybe cut Gix's Caress because it's not aggressive enough and I'm definitely a very aggressive deck. Hostile Negotiations is more card draw. Uh, I think I will drop the Demolisher. Uh, drop a Mishra's Onslaught. Guess one question is have we dropped anything that sacrifices? Only goblin fireball.
Honestly, maybe three skyfish or spiders is a bit risky. I think drop it to two. And then bring in a third blast runner, maybe. Interesting. I'm considering cutting Thran Spider again. I cut this from uh, one of my other decks this week. Does seem like a pretty good card. So we've ended up with 16 creatures. I think the mulligans are probably going to be pretty brutal. Yeah, okay, let's call that end of part one. This this is going to need a bit of thought. Uh, thanks for watching so far. Okay, so I've decided to go almost mono-red. And uh, we, so I'm going to be splashing black and green. So we've got five swamps, four forest. So I've dropped lots of good black cards. I've dropped uh, the Disfigures, Overwhelming Remorse... Kicks in Infiltrator, just because black's a splash colour now. I can't risk having too many black cards in the deck. I'm not always going to have black. So I've just got... Uh, the cards I'm splashing are just ones that serve the uh, the goal of the deck, which is to sacrifice things and pump the, the five Blast Runners. So I've got the two Geniuses, I've got the three Skyfish and Spiders. Uh, so it means all of the other the extra red cards have gone in, so the two Whirling Strikes, the two Mistress Onslaught, they seem quite aggressive, and uh, they also go well, quite well with Dwarf and Forge Chanter, because I managed to get four of these, so, so I, think, uh, I think that might work, it seems like quite an aggressive deck, we'll just see how easy it is to get black and green mana for the spiders, I've just got Bitter Reunion for as, as a card draw card. Um, yeah, probably a bit risky, but uh, I fancy giving this a shot. I was thinking also about the, uh, the goblin firebombs that cost the ones that cost seven to um, use. I'm just wondering it. Yeah, maybe we can get to seven mana. The funny thing here is, right? We've got so we've got eight mountains in the deck. We've actually managed to draw both of our splash colors, so we can't do anything <laughs> at the moment. But we've also got eight mountains in there, so. We can just hope we draw a mountain. And that's that's what I'm going to go for. There's a mountain. Perfect. Okay. Straight off the top. We're a bit... It's actually a slow hand. With, we're not doing anything till turn three. Ooh, Black Blade Reforged. Plus one, plus one for each land you control. Equip Legendary for three. Okay, not bad. Uh, it is something I can blow up if I need to. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, he's, he's blue, so he's got a counter spell. Just realised. Almost certainly. Yeah, that was his rebuff. Never mind. Should have led with the, the strong ball. Guess what? Guess who is a legendary creature and is about to become a 7-7? Seven, seven? Okay. So, Spider has nothing to sacrifice. So, just putting on my thinking cap here, actually Mishra's Onslaught, use that to make two 1-1 one, one, uh, creatures. Is what I'm thinking. So end the turn there. Does this give trample at all? Oh, uh, graveyard comes. It comes back from the graveyard as well. But yeah, we have to kill uh, Loran, I think. Okay, not equipping. Not equipping. I'll take three. Great Desert pr Prospector, okay. That actually gets to him to six mana, okay. Uh, we will indeed Mishra's Onslaught. Make two one ones. Right, so he's got to tap seven mana to blow up to um, equip the Prospector, so we'll need one land drop and then he can still hit me for a, hu a huge amount of damage. Uh, I think we kill Loran. Loran, I can obviously help bring back the Black Blade Reforged. Yeah. Also got double whirling strike in my hand. Okay, another you found another legendary. Nice, okay. And then you can bounce you can copy an artifact, of course. So you're gonna copy Black Blade Reforge, but that's a legendary. So you can only keep one of them if you do try in that combo. Well this is this is kinda silly already. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna, he's planning to equip that to this guy. And it will become a 7-6. Do I want to just trade off here anyway? No, I'll let that through. I will let that through. Let's have more options next turn. Cool. Another Skyfish Spider. So, uh, first of all, you can bounce artifacts back to the hand with this guy. Um, let's... I think let's kill this legendary. Maybe it's... What what's the chance he's got another legendary on? Yeah. So obviously he could have bounced that back to his hand, so that's that's gonna take one option off the table next turn. Deadly repost, okay. Yeah, I'll gain two life. But he's got seven mana, he can equip it. Nine, eight. I'll take nine. Okie dokie. Well, 
so whirling strike is the plan um, but it's got too much toughness now Okay, so who are we chomp blocking with first of all? Maybe a dwarven. Ooh, the dwarven forge chanter is a really good one. I've just realised he's really good because he's got prowess. The chomp blocker will be the horn stone seeker. Or should we go for a strong ball and bl just chump block with the spider? Yeah, chump block with the spider. There is a method to my madness. Trouble is, whatever he now, whatever creature he draws, gets to equip a. <laughs> A black blade reforged, such as that one, which isn't a lot of fun, but we can do the whirling strike trick once. Let's see. Doesn't quite do it, does it? For because it's going to give him seven first strike damage, which I know is not enough. You can only sacrifice that effects. Never mind. Um, it's funny how he drew both of his legendaries that are related to... Well, of course, every legendary in the set is related to artifacts, but this could bring back th potentially the Black Blade from the grave. This could bounce the Black Blade to his hand, so I couldn't target the Black Blade. Um, this guy can get pumped to uh, six six. Yeah, I just lose both these guys and the whirling strikes, don't I? I think. I think that's the. Uh, let's let's just get, figure this out. It's basically three and three, uh, seven, eight, nine. So just double block like this. It's like a four for one. <laughs> it's uh, it's a, and he's probably got something. Should get to seven power. It's just, just short, so we lose both creatures. And he gets to re-equip that, and I just now just need to start chomp blocking. Does he just equip it? He can just equip it next turn as well if he wants. Ah, yeah, put it on the thing with lifelink. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, well, we've got... Ch here's our chump blockers. Okay, uh, block that one. Take four. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think there's an any out in my deck, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay, good game. That's Black Blade Reforged for you. With two relevant legendaries <laughs> that could um, bring it back from the graveyard or bounce it to the hand. Which is, you're not going to see that every day. It, get, it brings me back memories of uh, Dominaria draft or, uh, yeah. Dominaria, Dominaria Limited. Quite a powerful card, I think. I'm not going to change the deck. I'm just going to stick to my guns. We actually, if you know, if we could manage to do one thing, we got actually got our spiders out. So, two spiders. Okay, no black mana. We've got a forest. Um, let's let's give this a shot. Two forge chanters. On the draw. I suppose it means, ooh, yeah. Goblin Blast Runner off the top. There are five of them in there, so that's a pretty high chance. Perfect thing, you know, if I'd actually picked that um, Evolving Wilds early on in the draft, that's the perfect thing with, with Blast Runner. But yeah, unfortunately we didn't see another one. But uh, very good news, we actually hit a Swamp of all things. Oh, I will swing with my Blast Runner. Junkyard genius, okay. Hmm. Another blast runner, you say. I will attack. I'll dare him to block me. Another blast runner. Another dwarven forge shanter. I should be getting through with a fair amount of damage this turn. Because, well, unless he may... I think even so. Okay, right, yeah, that's out of there. So, yeah, he's taking some damage off there. Never mind. I'm going to take out this genius, I think. Is it? Is that over the top, though? We get we get to push through damage with the uh, blast runner. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that to kill that. And I've got a three three reach on the board as well, which is not insignificant. Well, I was worried I'd, I wouldn't be able to play the spiders, but at least I've played them two games in a row. It's just, it turns out, a lot of the time that's not enough to win games of magic. I 
I mean, that was probably a pretty greedy move. I could have just kept attacking with my three guys and just chilled out. But yeah, I guess I couldn't re resist a sacrifice effect when I had a uh, had a goblin last runner on in, on the board. What's he doing? He's got uh, seven mana available. Overwhelming remorse, I'm thinking. No, it's an only shell, okay. Yeah, let's gain some life. So pretty removal heavy uh Rakdos, it would seem. Three cards left. Ashlord. Ooh, okay. And you can pay five to make a three tapped three three zombie with Ashnod. Pretty nice move. Okay, strong ball. Uh, let's swing in. So this guy can only sacrifice artifacts. Sibling rivalry, damn. Yeah, that's the uh, actually the card I missed out on. I did I did have an opportunity to get one, but I wanted another um, junkyard genius. And he's got has he got the sacrifice card as well? Oh yes, he does. Ashnod sacrifices. Ashnod is a sacrifice outlet. Never mind. We are a 17 land deck. I couldn't, I couldn't really justify going down to 16 land. Um, so we have drawn a fair amount. Seven in 14 cards. So yeah, 50% land draw. Um, yeah, I don't think we are. don't think we're going to do much by attacking, so I'm going to just stay back and just maybe try to take out his... Take something out anyway. His 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Maybe we're learning why Glo Goblin Blast Runner is not very favoured by the bots. It's just a bit, maybe it's a bit too hard to make a decent deck with them. See if he's got instant removal, that would just be the cherry on the cake.
this of course can sacrifice artifacts so he's just got he's just gonna overwhelm me with uh, card draw Haha, <laughs> he's got his own willing strike. Fair enough. Ah, you see, he's got an evolving wilds. Maybe the goblin firebombs are a bit better than I think. I think Thraxodemon's the target here because he's just going to draw a lot of cards off that. Nah, I'm just going to keep drawing land. It's over 50% now. God Almighty. <laughs> uh, yeah. 9 in 17. Over 50%. Okay. Skyfish, a spider. Blow up the Thraxodemon. Or do we, wait, do we wait and blow up his big threat? I think we blow up the uh, Thraxodemon. Uh, okay, yeah. So that comes, it gets value from the body there. It comes back as a 3 3 zombie. Because I didn't kill Ashnod, but there you go. Yeah, another sibling rivalry. I just I played into that really, didn't I? By not killing Ashnod. I suppose Thra <laughs> the trouble is Thraxodemon is also a sacrifice outlet. So there you go.
Yeah, that is a very good choice. Oh my god. <laughs> it just it just feels extra bad cuz he's a long way ahead of me. I think this is uh, probably a bad match. Probably a bad matchup. The mirror matchup. I think I want to be fighting against ramp decks that take a little while to get going, and then they play their big creature, and I blow it up with Skyfisher Spider. I think that's, in th in theory, that's uh, a good matchup for me. But lots of sort. Small creatures is um, uh, not not going to be great for me. If I'm you know sacrificing a creature to kill one of their creatures, Skyfisher Spider does doesn't look particularly good anymore. Okay, so you gonna attack? Three uh, got through three dwarven forge chanters here. So blew up the uh, the well the first junkyard genius, and then a Thraxa demon. All right, this one's yeah. This deck doesn't work. <laughs> um, let's give it another shot. But um, it's, it's I've got all weeks. I've uh, not had a zero three yet, so I wouldn't have thought this would be the zero three deck. To be honest, thought this you know fast and aggressive. This is kind of a dirtly format, a little bit with ramp. Maybe I can get in underneath people. But I've just not had very fast starts, actually. Cause I, I do refuse to mulligan a lot of the times. Uh, okay. Blast Runner on one. A couple of Forge Chanters. See what we can do there. Uh, we've been on third game in the row. We're actually on the draw as well. Which isn't ideal, but... Probably matters less in draft than constructed. You often want that extra card in draft to just um, fix your mana. Okay, he has a 3 1. That's a pretty good turn 2. Three colours. Transmogrant's crown and equip, and then he draws a card when I kill it. Great. Uh, and it gets to attack as well. Okay. Um, what do we do here? We don't have any sacrifice effects, so yeah, we just. We don't really want to take five damage. So we'll do that. Let him draw a card. Yeah, pretty good turn three for him there. We actually hit a forest though. That is very good for us. 
Strong ball and swing for one. There's also a uh, Skyfisher Spider and blow up the Transmogrant Crown. Might be good in the long run. Or we just keep blowing up his creatures. We can get through with four damage here. It is tempting to blow up the creature and give him a card. Not like I'm doing huge amounts of damage though. Do we pop a Forge Chance out and blow up the Transmogrant's crown? Yeah. Just the sober, sensible choice, I think. He's just going to draw so many cards off that. And he's still on 19 life. It's not like I've had a fast start. And I can just outrace him. Hero of the Dunes. You've got your artifact back. Alpha. F <laughs> Never mind. At least he doesn't have the mana to equip it as well. Okay, so actually the more, more threatening thing is a skull flare that can get bigger. Take out the skull flare. Let's just swing in with these two. And I think I should play the Blast Runner. I think that might be more damage next turn. Okay, another three one. Four one even. Dredging claw. Interesting. Haven't seen people playing this before. But why not? It gives it's you know it's a men it gives uh, evasion. Okay, no blocks. Mishra's research desk, sure, even more card advantage. Um right, forge chanter. Just uh sacrifice that. And this guy gets in with more damage, I'm thinking. I'm just racing, he's got too much card advantage for me to compete on that front, I think. I 
we have to hope for our um, heroic charge effect, I think, to, get to close this out. Mishra's Onslaught, I think it's called. Now he's got these that can come out. So that's, uh, oh, yeah, okay, and that it goes really well with Dredging Claw. Nice, okay, that's what that's what that's for. Unearth creatures. This is a lot of damage coming in, isn't it? That is four as well. Okay, that one's seven. Ten, fourteen, potentially fourteen damage. Okay. Uh, let me see. This is actually exiled, technically, so... I don't think he draws a card from it, which is nice. Oh, it's got Menace, of course. I was thinking I, would, might, I might get a chance to block, but no. Uh, and then he's got a huge blocker, of course he does. Why not? He did get loads of card advantage. Okay. Sacrifices artifacts. We don't have any artifacts left. Uh, so I can get through with one damage. Never mind. Not enough. Not enough fodder for the strong ball in this deck, I think. Okay. Sure. Because the uh, yeah the dredging claw gives it menace, so I can lose two creatures. I can risk him having the three damage direct damage spell. I'll just risk it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> More search. Looks like you got two land off the top. Okay, whirling strike. Well, well. Um, what's the bare minimum here? Three damage. I think three damage getting through because I am casting this. Five, five damage through. Um, and potentially I. Well, if, if I attack with everything, I die on the backswing. That is definitely a problem. But I can hold for a turn, certainly. He can give something menace with dredging, dredging, dredging claw. Yep. I just always seem to miss out on the fodder artifacts. Oh, well, often I do. I think I have this once. Okay, so you're just going to get even more card advantage. Just draw just one way howling mine every turn. Why not?
I like how he's playing Sardian Cliff Stomper because it's just a 0 4 blocker basically. Okay. I mean, you're kind of expendable. I'll give you another card, that's fine. Uh, did I mess up here? Did I just miss an opportunity to get lethal? Well, these these two both die. So let's... I'd have to trade off a couple of things. It's got menace, so uh okay right yeah he's zero four. He's zero four. He he can get to two four. Uh how many mountains? He's got three mountains. Uh if he plays a mountain that kills me. I'm only getting through with four damage. Um, okay, let's go in with these two, have two blockers back, oh, is that plus one power as well, so, so he does, it will have at least three power, of course he's got a removal spell, he wins now. So I took a little risk to just to get a couple of damage in. Okay, yeah, I'm just playing that as a 4-4, four, four, I guess. Thraxa Demon. Sure. Yeah. Another of these card draw thingies. of stuff to sacrifice with the Thraxa Demon. So this is a bit like getting a bit like the previous game. Ah, oh, and he's got the sibling rivalry. Of course he does. Why would he not have that? So yeah, it's two kind of two mirror matchups in a row, except I don't have sibling rivalry in my deck. And huge, I don't have huge amounts of card advantage, like I don't have any Thraxa demons at all. Well, I'm on three life, so I do have to block this, unfortunately. Okay. He takes one for the team. We either chump block or we can try and trade off here. Let's try and trade off. Oh, he's going to gain the life, of course. Oh, no, wait. 
Was that something else that gained life? Trying to figure out how that works and how we gained life. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you're behind, it just hurts to draw land. But it's been a decent dra land draw, I think, because it's like 6, 7, 8 land in 18 cards. It's, it's under 50% actually this time. Whereas you can see he's obviously drawn a huge, amount of, huge number of cards. <laughs> he's down to 9 cards. He's just outdrawn me by... Uh, to the tune of 13 cards. It has 11 land. I mean that... Me blowing up his freaking Transmogrant's Crown at, on turn 4 and then immediately... Because <laughs> I'm, I'm on the draw every single game. He has a turn 5 Hero of the Dunes to bring it back. I think, I think that kind of outlined how the game was going to go. <laughs> Okie doke, so I think we're dead. Right. Good stuff. That one's got, what, Manus. Sure, let's go here, let's go here. Great. I love, I love Magic the Gathering. But, yeah, I was saying in the previous game... I think the mirror matchup is not so good with the uh, Skyfisher Spiders. Just not enough good targets. I wanted to play a ramp deck. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that's our first zero three 3 this week. It was just, i got to say, very appealing to try playing... Five Goblin Blast Runners, three Skyfisher Spiders, and four Dwarven Forge Chanters. Uh, I mean, it's like, look, it's the smallest draft deck you've ever seen. So many uh, multiples of things. It's got to be good, right? But yeah, maybe, maybe not so good. I thought, you know, I thought it would be like a mono red deck and just roll people over, but... Yeah, I suppose Goblin Blast Runner, just not enough things to sacrifice. It's very iffy. It's like we've got Bitter Reunion, Penrigan Strong Ball, but then you need artifacts. We don't have art enough artifacts. We've got we get some um, Excavation Explosion, Jungle Genius, Power Stones. We get a couple of soldier tokens from the Mishra's Onslaught. It's not enough. It's not enough fodder for the uh sacrifice part of the deck so that's why i think it did not work skyfisher spider not not really enough to push it over the top what would have been good against black red i think this figure that's just a good nice cheap efficient removal spell we were trying to the other problem we were having is just no mana fixing, and I really wanted to play all the spy fisher spiders, so um, we've got a slightly wonky mana distribution. That's why I'd thought we're better off going mono red, splashing black and green. Still, it's another experiment. That's kind of that's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, just have to. Uh, Dust myself down, get back on the horse. Got one more draft to do tomorrow for this. I think I added it to Dex. Um, anyway. Yeah, the plan is do one more draft tomorrow, then open up all of my packs, and that'll, uh, that'll cheer me up. I've got, yeah, I'll have at least 111 by tomorrow. Alright, I think that's the video, so thanks for watching.